major shakeup on the Miami-Dade County School Board in yesterday's election. One longtime member was ousted, and there could be a new vision for the future. In Local 10's Hatzel Vela reports. In the Miami-Dade School Board races, a win for Governor Ron DeSantis. Two of the candidates he endorsed clinched victory Tuesday night. Vote for me, Monica Colucci. In this campaign video, one of the winners, Monica Colucci, touts her 26 years as a teacher. Most recently, at Everglades K-8 through in Westchester. As with any politician, given her victory, we wanted to get her reaction. How are you? Is Monica home? At her Southwest Miami date home, her husband told us she wasn't available. There's no chance we can talk to her. We have to set up a time. When the camera gets close, he stops talking to us. She's, she's the winner. She is the winner in this district race. Can she come and talk to us? Seems like the newly elected public servant wasn't ready to talk. By text, her campaign guy, David Custon, chastised us for going to her house told us we don't march to the beat of your drum. Colucci beat incumbent school board member Marta Perez. I leave on the highest note, A-rated school district. The longtime public servant talked to us about her loss. It was hell. It is how the Republican, a self-described moderate conservative, describes the political campaigning against her. The degree of intimidation and nastiness and lies, outright lies. What she just went through, she says, reminds her of Cuba. It's extremism at, at its peak. The days of Batista and then Fidel, when you were persecuted for not thinking the same as the rest. As for the future, Perez believes her election defeats will make other school board members nervous. I think some board members will say, hey, I better behave or I'll get the same treatment. And so that, she says, is dangerous, not just for local government, but also for our democracy. By the way, the new school board members will be installed November 22nd. For now, reporting live from Miami, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News.